Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia. If you have an Alienware Alpha and you cannot get it to start up like this, you push the power button and it gets stuck on the Alienware logo screen and you can't hit, hit F2 and can't hit F10, this is how you solve it. So the first thing you want to do is unplug everything. So what you want to do is take the four screws out of the back and open this up. In my case, I've already removed the screws because I don't keep them in there because I've been working on this little thing so much recently. So you pop that right off. Next step is you want to take these two fans out. Don't unplug them, just you won't, we want them out of the way. Okay, so once you're in here, uh, this is what it looks like. Let me zoom in so the problem with the startup is that it's a bios problem i don't know exactly what it is but some sort of bios setting is preventing the computer from being able to pass that screen and so a lot of people have been having this problem and what they end up doing is sending the unit back to dell and dell is replacing motherboards um, and you end up losing all of your information if you go that route. So this is an easier solution for you to at least recover your info if you do want to eventually send it in for repair. Right next to the, um, the memory, there's this little blue, I think it's called a jumper. Uh, and it's in the slot that says um, clear password. What you want to do is just take it and carefully lift it out. And this is what it looks like. See if you can focus. So that's a little jumper thing. So what we want to do is take this and we want to put it in the um, RTCRST slot, which is right over here on this side. And the just there's two of them here. Uh, the one that is correct is the one that's parallel to the one that you where you pulled it. So you're pulling it from here up and then just putting it right there. Now what you want to do is put the fans back in. You don't have to put the lid back on, but you, what you want to do is connect this to power and hit that power switch on the very front. So connect it to power, hit the power switch and leave it on for about 10 seconds you won't see any lights at all. It's just resetting the BIOS settings on the motherboard and then come back. And that is it. So once you have completed that process, go ahead and uh, take the fans out one more time. Take that little blue jumper and place it back into the clear password slot. Again, it's a little small. There you are. Put the fans back in. The lid back on. And you are ready to go. So now once you start it up, this is the screen that you will see. You'll see this message in the corner, RTC is reset. So that's what we just did. Uh, the BIOS setup default has been loaded. Strike the F1 key to continue, F2 to run setup, and F5 to run onboard diagnostics. So we're just gonna hit F1 on the keyboard. And if all goes well, we should see the Alienware logo again. We do. And we are back up. So that is it for this process. It's very simple and straightforward. In fact, you may be able to get away with not even having to plug the computer into a power source once you set that jumper into that correct slot to reset it. So I think it might use the CMOS battery to reset, I don't know. The point is you can get to your desktop and you can copy all of your files over. I've had to do this twice now in the last about a month and a half until they fig figure out a BIOS update or something, you might need to reference this video in the future. So thank you for watching, stay tuned for more, and have a nice day, bye.